What's up guys, in this video we are unboxing a uh, TV, mobile TV card and uh, I usually like to just leave my um, LED TV on a card and to be able to roll it around in the house so instead of putting it on a TV table or anything like that and I bought this on Amazon, it's made by a company called Vivo so this is uh, their Vivo standard mobile TV cards. They make two versions, one with a rolling wheel and one without. Uh, the price difference is about $5. I bought the one with the rolling wheel, so I should be able to move it around a little more, a little more easier. This is, my second, this is my second stand already. I bought another one for our Miami home, and I'm just getting another one for the New Jersey home right here. Um, there's a instructional manual over here. And again, from my previous use of the stand, the stand is really uh, fairly well designed. Uh, my last stand actually had a stripped screw and I contacted Vivo. They sent me a set of brand new replacement screw within a week. So customer service wise, they are still doing a pretty decent job, even though you know um, they messed up at the initial delivering of the stand. Again, bought those on Amazon, fulfilled by Amazon, came to me in a few days, which is uh, fantastic. We're gonna open it up and take out all the components, and I'm just gonna quickly assemble it, and then show you guys what a TV looks like mounted onto the stand, because again, I just bought a TV to use with the stand, okay? So, very, very simple, a couple very basic stuff, just some pulls, and some metal bars, and that's pretty much what is in the box. So this is your pull, where it goes into the center. And uh, let's see, take out the rest of the stuff, which are separated by a few nicely organized boxes. Those seems to be the lag section. and your wheels and some mounting hardware are all very nicely packaged uh, into individual individual boxes so that's that's really nice by the way there are quite a lot of screws that you have screwing so have some patience when you're installing this uh, TV card or mobile stand so rolling wheels Let's read instruction really quick because it's been a while since I installed it last time. And you have to make sure when you install those, make sure the holes are according to the instructional manual at the correct place. Because those holes are actually for the wheel. If you put the hole up, obviously you can't mount your wheel, okay? So make sure the direction of those holes are correct. And we're gonna put those two stands together and that's gonna be the base. Uh, again, those are steel, so fairly durable, fairly heavy, uh, powder coated as well. And obviously, this is the pad to mount on your TV. And it does have, come with a little wrench. That's that's quite nice. So the wrench is the first, and then, oh wow, it's really tightly packed. I'm gonna take all the components out so I can assemble things faster. Again, there are a lot of parts, so you, you really have to uh, spend a considerable, considerable amount of time getting those screws screwed in. There are a lot, okay? So I think I'm not even gonna bother with showing you guys the assembly process. I'm gonna just show you it's fully assembled, and we're gonna mount a TV on that, and then take a look once the TV is mounted. Okay, so I'll be right back. All right, so I have just finished uh, assembling the stand, which took about, uh, I think, 20 to 30 minutes to finish. And uh, the stand itself is uh, pretty, if you follow the instructions, it's pretty easy to assemble. However, the only tricky part is when you have to mount a VESA standard mount, 
uh, depending on the size of the mount on the back of your monitor, you have to be really um, spending a lot more time configuring the adapters to make sure it fits a 100 by 200 or a 200 by 200 or a 100 by 100 VSA mount. And that's pretty much it. The, the base is pretty easy to assemble as well. Uh, just follow the instructions and putting in the screws at the correct holes, it should be fine. The height of the, uh, of the mobile cart or the mobile stand is actually slightly adjustable. Right now, it's fairly at its highest position. I think I can lift it up a few more inches, but that's pretty much it. You can raise it up higher than, I guess, a person's uh, height. I'm about 5'7", uh, so you can probably raise it with a monitor up to 5'7", seven height, 5 foot 7 inch height. Um, and in terms of cable management, there is none. So if you have a monitor cable, I guess the best you can do is just use some zip tie to tie it on the back of the, um, of the tube and run down the line to avoid cluster. Otherwise, your cable is just going to be dangling around on the back of the monitor. Um, the wheel, very good quality wheel. It's actually bearing uh, the wheel with, I think, sealed bearings, I think. Um, and on the two front wheel, you can actually step on the wheel and then lock it. So the, the stand wouldn't move around and it would stay in place if I lock both of those, those wheels. As you can see, it's, it's being locked, so it wouldn't move around. And uh, other features including the angle of the TV is actually adjustable by about, by about three degrees tilt and about 30 degrees upwards. So you can, so if I lose the adjustment knob, you can see the angle of adjustments. So you can raise it higher but you can't, you can't really have the monitor go lower. So you can go higher, but not go lower. The lowest it would go is a 90 degree. And because of the weight of the monitor, it actually slants down just a little bit. So you can probably go to like a 87, 86 degrees. So like by a few degrees, you can have it slightly tilted down, but that's pretty much it. Um, in terms of tilt, with the adjust, adjustment screw loosened on the back, you can adjust the tilt just slightly. So if you mounted your monitor with adapter, it's usually not level. With that three degree tilt, you can get the monitor up to, a, up to level, and then you shouldn't have any issues like, you know, of a tilted monitor. And uh, this should sum up the review of, quick review of this uh, Vivo, uh, black mobile TV stand or TV cart. Uh, it's, it's very portable and you can move the TV around as you like. And that's the reason I don't really like mounting a stand on the TV and I, I like to just mount it onto one of those stands. It's much easier to move around. If you have a need for the stand, this is a really definitely a great value at only $65 shipped with tax. That's with the wheels. If you want to stand without the wheels, it's $59, okay? I am not paid by the company to advertise their product. I already own two of those, and that can tell you I really enjoy using this stand, okay? So thank you so much for watching. Uh, please give me a thumbs up if you found this review helpful in helping you making a decision on whether you should buy this TV stand or not. And if you did, please do hit the thumbs up button or subscribe and I should have more similar contents coming out for you guys. Okay, thank you so much. Take care.